Hey YouTubers, Silver and Gold Stacker here. Um, here's another video. Just something real quick I wanted to talk about, but then I had a little extra thing that uh, I wanted to tell you guys about. This is like another new hobby, I guess you could say, um, along with uh, precious metal stacking, which I, I'm not even going to say precious metal stacking is a hobby. This is your life. This is your future. I understand that. But at the same time, you got to have fun too. Um, but one thing I wanted to, to talk about is, you know, with me looking at countless, countless hours of YouTube videos, and there's a few people out there that they give this this advice as of of a uh, hey you know I recommend that you don't do not buy gold more than uh, one ounce because if there is some type of catastrophe you you know you really have a hard time selling anything over an ounce of gold at a time. I call bull. Okay, because say if you, you know, I, I, I'm saying the banks, the central banks, what do they have? Kilos and these big pounds of bars and things like that. And I understand, you know, that's the government and, you know, they'll always have a buyer to allocate their gold and things like that. But what about people like Kevin O'Leary from the Shark Tank that says that he puts... I think he said something about 30% of his wealth is in is in gold, gold and silver. And all of these other, you know, billionaires and millionaires and he hey, just like us, thousandaires. You know, what do they do? Well, you best believe that if you have it, you will find a buyer. Because there might be a time that, hey, you know what, I may want to make a big purchase. I may want to buy a house. I may want to buy a half a million dollar house. So when gold really does skyrocket and now this, uh, um, you know, 100 gram Pam Swiss bar that I have that cost me, you know, $4,300, now it's $40,000. Hey, here, take two, take two, three of these and give me this house over here. Or, you know, give me this. You know, or, or here's this one 100, 100 gram bar. Let me get this uh, this brand new car, you know, over here. I mean, I just put it like this. Just because you have a, you know, a kilo of, of gold doesn't mean you're not going to be able to move it. I mean, no one's saying, hey... Uh, don't buy any, you know, uh, uh, don't buy anything over an ounce. Well, you know what? If you if you have a hundred gram or a kilo or ten ounce of gold, I'm pretty sure you'll also have the other uh, smaller fractional gold also. So I just say, don't let anyone discourage you. If you want to go out there and go buy that, you know, those Pam Swiss bars or the ten ounce uh, lunar 24 karat gold year of the horse, you know, big medallion, Get it, because you want to be able to barter for different levels. You know, I can understand. You know, if you want to go to the local coin shop, which I'm pretty sure I don't even know if that would even exist if gold went up like that. I mean, they would turn it to Fort Knox over there. They just won't let anyone in. That you could just go in there and like, hey, you know. Uh, I oh mean, I lost my train of thought, but. What I'm trying to say is, yeah, have fractional gold if you want to deal with street level bartering. But if you want to take care of real business, you better have those big bars. Because who wants to go in there with, you know, a thousand of these, two thousand of these or whatever. Well, it would be great if I had a thousand of these. I mean, you know, a thousand ounces of gold. Oh, gosh. But, um... I mean, it does, it, this doesn't need, I'm not even talking about gold. I mean, they have this fool, this old, <clears throat> this old man that's discouraging people uh, from getting the Johnson Matthew 100 ounce uh, silver bars. He's like, oh, and you know, he talks in his down south accent. 
Well, what you gonna do when your local coin shop can't can't give you the money for it? But if I go in here with my one ounce, two ounce, three ounce, I'll be able to make a transaction like that. Well, you know what? Yeah, if you're doing small nickel and diamond, we're in this for pre not only for preservation, but of course to get rich also. Do you think that? Do you think that? Uh, uh, how it used and you know the Rockefellers or whatever you know whoever was the big time players in the in the 1920s and 1930s and 1940s when there was a Great Depression and they had all the money in the world. Do you think that discouraged them? Like, ah, I don't want to get too big. I don't want to have all this, you know, this wealth. You know, I better, I better refrain from getting that because I don't want, when it skyrockets. You know what? You know, let's even talk about this. Now everyone's talking about, yeah, don't, don't, get, the, don't get more over like 10, 10 ounces of silver at a time. You know, because it'll be hard to get rid of if there's ever a time, you know. Okay, so, like, so you're scared that silver is going to go up to $100 an ounce or $1,000 an ounce. Well, what about gold right now? I mean, what difference will it make if silver went up to the same amount per ounce that gold is now? The world's not ending. Heck, I hope that, it do I hope that silver does go up to that much because if it does, we're all paid. Now, I don't know when it comes to superinflation if it's really going to matter, but still, don't discourage anyone from getting whatever denominations that they want. You know, because if that's the case, you know what? You could just knock off a little piece, you know, here and there if you really wanted to. No matter what, you'll make it work, okay? Okay, so that's my little, you know, rant on that. Because I tell you this, once when I can afford it, I'm getting the 10 ounce gold bars. I'm getting the 100 pam sweets, 100 gram pam sweets bars and and the 100 ounce uh uh Johnson Matthew bars and all that. I'm going to get stacks like that. I'm going to stack on stack on stack. And in my mind I have my own little Fort Knox going on. So so that's that. All right, now let me get on to my other thing. This right here is called the Fat Shark RC Vision Systems. This is a FPV goggle glasses, basically for virtual reality. I just got this today. Um, I think in another couple of days, I'm actually getting the, you know, the product that I actually purchased this for. For some of you that might know, most people use this with drones yep I bought a drone I bought the uh, who is it by? uh oh DJI vision 2 no DJI DJI Phantom 2 vision which is a drone and um, this right here, you actually hook up the camera that goes to it. Well, you know, there's a camera already on it, and you actually, you actually can use that camera. Or either you can buy a uh, a GoPro. Most people use the GoPro, which I might just upgrade to that too. But you use that, and you hook it up to the drone, and you actually see from the perspective of the drone. Let's see. So that way when you're flying your drone, you see a three-dimensional three -dimensional virtual reality, actually real reality, the perspective of the drone while you're flying. And this right here, it's like, wow, I'm like really, really, really going to be into this. Okay, so... Bingo. So what's gonna happen is once when if I'm if I'm ready to move my gold and silver, I'm going to attach a little satchel to my drone 
and then fly it away to my next location. All by sitting in my home. So yeah, this is a, this is a way a uh, exit plan to move my stash of gold and silver. All right, that's that. So when I get my when I get my drone, I'll make another video. I'll show you how it's done. All right, all right. Thank you again for watching. Subscribe, comment, let people know about my page. Silver and Gold Stacker. I'm out.